Uh, $5 super chat here from Damian Posey. What would be the best HD goggle that would be supported in the future for the money? I don't think that's the right way to pick a video system, to tell you the truth. Like, let's say that you decide that HD0 is the best choice because it's open source. Do you want to fly HD0 every day? Is future proofness like the most important thing to you? Really? How future proof does a video system need to be? So, like the goggles too just came out. The V2 goggles have been around for four years. And there's just now some signs that maybe they won't be made, but they'll still be available on the used market. Vistas are still available new. So we got four, five, six, maybe a little more years on the V2 system. That's pretty good. The goggles two just came out. Probably will have a similar run. Is that enough for you? Is HD zero more future proof because it's open source? On the other hand, HD zero is a pretty small company. I mean, like DJI is not going to go out of business in the next five years. I'm not saying HD zero is. But if I said, pick one, pick one of these two companies to go out of business in the next five years, HC0 or DJI, go, you must pick one. I think the safe money, right? So, so I'm just saying, like, there's various things you could think about uh, in terms of future proofing. But what you should do, in my opinion, is pick the video system that you like to fly and buy that one. And then solve your future proofing problem a different way. Like by buying extra or something.